now let us see another problem on hydrostatic course and curved surfaces this is very important one so the problem is the horizontal and vertical forces fx and fy on semicircular grid having a width w uh, into the plane of the figure is so the options are given a b c d and uh, this is the figure so there is a semicircular grid a semicircular grid here is given which is of radius r which is of radius r and uh, uh, the height from uh, this free surface to the center is h and uh, there is a width uh, w in third dimension and we need to find the hydrostatic forces so in order to find the hydrostatic forces uh, there will be uh, two for, two components of uh, forces one is fx and other is fy so in order to find this fx first let us find fx in order to find fx the uh, here so this is fx so what will be the force fx fx is equal to uh, w a into h bar this h bar is h only so w is rho g into area area is the projected area uh, of this uh, cylindrical uh, sorry uh, semi circular gate so here area is the projected area is this is 2r 2r and uh, w this w so 2r into w so that will be 2 rho g into r w so is there option here so 2 rho g sorry uh, and h h bar is h in this so h so there is option d and option b both uh, both are having same fx and uh, in order to find fy so how to find fy so the hydrostatic force will be acting up to here as fy or uh, let me say here it is fv1 and the weight will be acting downwards w if you consider the uh, upward uh, upward section in this uh, that will be uh, this one and uh, first let us solve this fv1 is equal to w a h bar and uh, here h bar is the plane of uh, projection so uh, w is rho g and uh, area into this h bar is uh, h minus r h minus r is this distance this one is h minus r and rho g into h minus r into the area the area here is r into w the projected area here this will be the projected area in third dimension that is w this is this is r and this, uh, this one is w so r into w so that is r into w area w is equal to m into g so m is rho v into g so rho g into the volume so how do we find the volume area into width gives us the volume so so the w is the water in this so uh, the volume is we can find this way so if this is a square of 2r side and the circle inscribed of radius r so the area of this part is so what will be the area 2r whole square minus pi r square this is the area of these four parts so 4r square minus pi r square is the area of four square uh, four remaining parts uh, if we need one part that will be 1 minus pi by 4 into r square will be the area so the area is 1 minus pi by 4 into r square that is the area and in order to uh, find the volume we need to multiply w so that is the weight of that uh, this liquid element and what is the resultant force fy1 so fv1 is in this direction and w is also in this direction so we need to add both the forces fv1 plus w so fv1 is equal to rho g h minus r into r w plus rho g into 1 minus pi by 4 r square into w and uh, if you simplify this rho g h r w minus rho g r square w plus rho g into r square w minus pi by 4 into rho g r square w and uh, so can we cancel anything yeah 
this can be cancelled and the remaining is rho g h r w minus pi by 4 into rho g r square w. So this is the case of upper part and uh, considering the lower part. So this is r and from free surface to the center this is h okay and uh, there will be f y uh, sorry f v2 acting on this and the liquid element will be w which is acting downwards so f v2 let me take another color to differentiate this both so here f v2 is equal to w a into h bar so w is rho g and a is the projected area the projected area will be same r into uh, w is the projected area and h bar so what is the h bar the plane is at a distance of h plus r under the free surface so rho g h plus r into r w and the weight will be the weight will be same as this one so the weight uh, we got here is rho g into 1 minus pi by 4 into r square w so that is the weight uh, f y 2 the uh, uh, resultant vertical component on the downside is f y 2 is equal to f v 2 minus w since this w is downwards and f v 2 is upwards uh, there is a minus sign here so f v 2 is equal to rho g into h plus r into r w minus rho g into 1 minus pi by 4 into r square w so we will be getting if we simplify this rho g into h into r w plus rho g r square w minus rho g r square w minus into minus plus pi by 4 rho g r square w so here uh, we can cancel this and this so we got f y 1 and f y 2 so f y 1 will be acting in this direction f y 2 will be acting in this direction and uh, uh, we know that as we go deep into this, uh, we will be getting more pressure. So, Fy2 will be greater than Fy1. So, the resultant force will be Fy is equal to Fy2 minus Fy1. So, what is Fy2? Rho g h r w plus pi by 4 into rho g r square w. This is the width, not a weight. So, minus Fy1. Fy1 is rho g r w. rho g h r w minus pi by 4 rho g r square w minus pi by 4 rho g r square w so rho g h r w plus pi by 4 into rho g r square w minus rho g h r w minus into minus plus pi by 4 rho g r square w so this and this gets cancelled and uh, these are the same quantities so 2 into pi by 4 into rho g r square w so pi by 2 into rho g r square w so this is f y so pi by 2 into rho g r square w is the f y so we will see the options now so here uh, the right answer may be uh, option b and e b or d so here uh, fy is 0 so this is not the answer and this is the answer so solve more problems on third surface uh, hydrostatic force you will uh, be master of this hydrostatic force